EF500R is a two-part component high-strength epoxy-based chemical designed to anchor threaded rod and post-installed rebar into concrete. It is suitable for use when holes are drilled using a diamond core drill. It is also recommended for high use in areas of high temperatures. It has a longer working time so steel elements can be properly seated at the bottom of deep holes. For the ultimate performance, there are some essential things you must do when installing with EF500R. All Fasteners is here to help you with it with the following steps. Before you begin, ensure you have a copy of the manufacturer's installation instructions. Read these thoroughly and take note of any important points. Installation temperature is critical. Be aware of the limitations and the working or gel times and then curing times. Thorough hole cleaning for any chemical anchoring is essential. It is one of the most critical elements for successful anchoring. A repeated blow and brush method is required with deep holes. Compressed air with a minimum 6 bar pressure is recommended. Blow the hole from the bottom first, then brush the hole to dislodge any ingrained dust from the hole sides. Repeat this process another three times and then finish with a final blow. A wet dry vacuum is also a great way to remove bulk dust or slurry left over from diamond coring. Good preparation leads to efficient installation. Unpack and prepare your studs or rebars in close proximity, ready for installation. This way you can avoid delays after the chemical is injected. Keep in mind that fast cure epoxies such as VF22 are not recommended for deep holes as your work time is limited, especially in warmer weather. On the other hand, EF500R, for example, gives you longer working time and is suitable for large deep holes. Assemble the nozzle and extension together, then follow with the correctly sized piston plug. Piston plugs are only essential for horizontal or overhead holes. However, they are recommended in deep anchoring too, as they make your job easier and ensure no air pockets are formed during injection. Some PVC tape can be used on each connection to ensure they do not separate under pressure. Measure the hole depth, then mark one third of that depth on the nozzle from its tip. This will be your indicator of when to stop filling. The hole will be filled with chemical two thirds of the way. A simple marking method is to apply some PVC tape to the nozzle. Screw the nozzle onto the cartridge and insert the cartridge into the applicator. With large and deep holes, a cordless applicator such as All Fasteners own ChemPower powered dispenser is required. Begin dispensing the epoxy. Be sure to dispose of the first 50 millimeters of material to make sure the product is properly mixed. Inject it, filling the hole from the bottom. Here you will notice that the piston plug provides back pressure and makes the hole filling process very easy. Once the indicator reaches the top of the hole, filling is complete. Slowly push the rod or rebar in, turning as you embed it into the epoxy. This aids with the insertion process and will ensure the epoxy is distributed completely around the threads or deformations. Check that the rod is angled at 90 degrees to the substrate. Make any adjustments during the working time. Ensure the anchor is undisturbed for the full cure time and do not load the anchor until full cure has occurred. On overhead or horizontal holes, centering rings are available to center the rod and keep it unloaded or small plastic wedges for tiling or similar can be used to wedge the rod if required. Use a scraper to clean excess chemicals from the rod and dispose of the waste properly. All fasteners can provide training and certification for installers to satisfy any requirements, such as those called for under Section 680 from Vic Roads and other applications. Got any questions about the correct installation of chemical anchoring? Contact All Fasteners now.